Hello and welcome back to Garden on the Moors. It's now spring and we're going to give the quail aviary a bit of a spruce up. So we've been to the garden centre and picked up a few new tall grasses and hopefully they're not going to be too interested in them because the ones that we bought last year have survived. Unfortunately the fern didn't so we've bought another new little plant to go in there as well and hopefully that one will survive. Um, the bark has started to compost down a bit now so we're going to just put a big bag of bark on top as well to keep it going for, for this year now. I've also got some sand and a little tray that we're going to put in there for them so they can have a little dust bath and have a bit of a treat because I think quails really do like, like bathing in them. So the first thing I'm going to do is dig up this fern which hasn't done very well. It probably doesn't need much digging actually, you know, you just come straight out. And I can reuse the hole to put in a new conifer, which hopefully isn't too tall, maybe a bit shorter than what the fern was so it can fit in the, the ground. And I will top up all of this with loads of bark that I've got from the garden centre this morning. So I'm going to make sure I squish it down nice and tight and put all of the bark from around it so it's covering up around the edges. And all it needs now is a water. So next is a nice red grass that I've got and I'm hoping that this one can go somewhere like here in between the green sedge and green conifer so then when it does come out all red it, you've got different colours then for both of the quails but also quite selfishly for us when we're looking at them from the kitchen window. Looks like they found a worm or something. So my last bit of grass that I'm going to put in is right in front of the, this bush here. Hopefully that will give them an extra little bit of shade and another little place to lay their eggs because they, although I built a little structure over in the upper corner, they don't seem to go there. Well, these, these quails don't. Years ago they used to, but these quails actually like to hang out around all of the grass and, and they'll make tiny little burrows into the, the side of them and lay all their little eggs. So. I bought some more grass so I can get some more eggs, hopefully. So I'll get some more bark in a minute and I'll put that around all of this, around the entire enclosure then. Sorted.
So the last thing that I need to do now is get the dust bath sorted. So I've brought some sand. I got them from got this one from a shop where hopefully it's quite dry. Probably only need half of this. And that should give them plenty to roll around in. I've just placed down the plate of sand and they're now coming over to investigate. Didn't take them long. Instead of using water to bathe in, quails like to dust bathe instead and rub sand up into their feathers and that can help preen themselves and keep the feathers in top condition and remove things like parasites from, from them over time. So there we are, quails are enjoying themselves in the nice new coop and Right as rain with all of the uh, sand in the corner there now. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more.